Okay guys, I don't know what happened with the other live stream, but it totally cut out. Um, so I'm gonna try again and see if it will work. I don't, I think it's something to do with my Wi-Fi connection. So please let me know if um, you're experiencing any dipping of the channel and, uh, and the connection and let me know so I can adjust that. Um, this is my first time doing this. I did not know that it was even happening. So I apologize for all of that craziness at the last video, but hopefully, hopefully it'll work this time. Um, so I don't really know exactly where it cut out as far as where I was in the process of talking and what I was saying, but I think it was around the time when I was talking about the dog. So he's over there sleeping now, and um, I think I just <laughs> woke him up by talking about him. But yep, here he comes. So, oh, look at that. I think he has to go outside. <laughs> Perfect timing. Um, so, let me go ahead and um, let him in, and hopefully, the stream will keep going. I'm going to give it a few minutes anyway just to see, make sure that it is actually working. And, um, Max? Oh, nope. He's going into the other room. He might need to go out though, so I should probably let him do that. Um, let me go ahead and try this. And that way I can monitor it a little bit too, because I don't, I wish I had something to monitor it a little bit better. Um, just so that I can actually see if it's dropping in and out, but let me try. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good day. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for coming back if you left, and um, hopefully one of these days I will get it right. This is kind of just a work in progress, and this is definitely growing pains for me because I have never done this before, but uh, one of these days I will get it working right. So. What am I doing here? Um, there. Perfect. Okay. So, I have that all ready to go. And this is going live. Uh, let's mute that. Okay. Yay! Alright, so, so far, I have finished the jam um, that goes in the middle. It's a strawberry jam. And all that I used for that was, in case you wanna do these at home, I will let you know. Um, strawberries, pits removed, um, three cups of that, which took me forever to chop up, by the way. I don't know if I ever finished that on the other one. Um, two tablespoons of chia seeds, which I had the exact amount. I finished all but just these little granules. Um, it was the rest of my chia seeds, but it was perfect. And two tablespoons of lemon juice and two tablespoons of maple syrup. And I actually left the maple syrup out just because I personally just prefer the taste of strawberries as they are. So I left that out. Um, and I've, I've made other things with maple syrup before and with um, jams like that and I just didn't prefer the taste, but if you want to add your maple syrup, go right ahead. Nobody's judging you. Um, so, by the way, just so we know we're on the same page, this is what we're making. We're making the Dodgy Jammers, which I think she calls Jammy Dodgers, and um, they're basically like wheat cookies, but not wheat. I mean, they're sweet, like a regular cookie, but they're made, these are particularly made with buckwheat. Um, which I've never cooked with before. I did have um, the sorghum flour and the coconut flour, which I was going to substitute instead because I already have that, but I ended up having to go out and get buckwheat because apparently those cannot be substitutes for buckwheat because buckwheat is a grain and those are not, which that's something that I learned. Um, so I have all that and I've already mixed the dry ingredients together um, as well, and let me run through those as well too. Oh, the person who wrote this book about the Dodgy Jammers is Naomi Smart, and some of you might know her because she is a YouTuber, and 
Um, she does like lifestyle and health and fitness and things like that. And I don't know if I mentioned that in the other stream, so I wanted to make sure I did. And also just let you know that it's a really good book because, and it's not sponsored in any way. She doesn't even know me. She doesn't know I exist. So, but I've just used it um, before and I've made it a few recipes from here and they're all really good. And they're all plant-based foods. Um, and my particular diet is starting to transfer more and more and more towards plant-based just because I've been having a lot of like, I don't know, just stomach issues and not feeling so great. So um, every time I go to the doctor, they just recommend stripping something else out of my diet and it's just <laughs> getting to that point where I'm just like, I might as well be plant-based at this point. Um, so that's why I've been picking up more recipes and um, books on that. So um, that's just, you know, for my own personal reasons. Um, but so, so a lot of these ingredients are um, plant-based in this book, but so this one is as well. So the dry ingredients that I've used so far are, um, I had a, one and a half cups of ground almonds, um, two cups of black flour, one table, one teaspoon of baking powder, um, this, oh and uh, this is the buckwheat flour that I used, was this one. Um, and just ground up the almonds in this beautiful thing, which my aunt actually got for me because I was eating a lot of smoothies there for a while and did not have one of those. And so it's coming really, really handy. Um, if you guys don't have one, you should get one. Um, let's see what else. Ground cinnamon, a pinch of pink Himalayan salt. That's all I put in the dry ingredients. And then the wet ingredients I've already combined, but I have to mix them in with the dry ingredients. The wet ingredients are coconut oil, half a cup, which I thought was crazy, but I mean, that's what it says, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, maple syrup, half a cup, vanilla extract, one teaspoon, and one teaspoon of vanilla powder, which I do not have, um, so I just added a little bit extra vanilla extract because I don't even know what vanilla powder is, so hopefully that works out okay. Um, so it looks like... Max is being taken care of, so he's okay. I know, because I mentioned he had to go to the bathroom. You're probably wondering, um, is he still sitting over there having to pee? So no, he doesn't. He's good. <laughs> he's outside now. Um, so anyways, I honestly, I have no idea what I've, because I've been talking for about 30 minutes with nobody watching, so I don't know what I've already said and what I haven't said, um, so I'm sorry if any of this is repeated. Um, but maybe that's a good thing because you're probably just now jumping on and seeing it. Um, but basically, the reason that I'm doing a live stream, I'm sure that those of you that are viewers or family members, especially family members, are probably wondering uh, why I'm doing a live stream. Um, because I am an introvert and that seems like the farthest thing from what an introvert would do. <laughs> um, and it's true. But that's part of the reason why I'm doing it is because it is very outside of my comfort zone, should I say. And I just like to challenge myself. It's something that I've always done. Um, as far back as I can remember, I just have this tendency to ch sort of choose the more challenging path, um, just a little bit more difficult, which works out great sometimes in the end, but you know, sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes they're just really bad choices <laughs> that I've had to live with. But, um, but this particular choice is more because I, there's, like I was mentioning before, there's a macro and a micro level as to why I am, <laughs> Max is over there getting really excited because he knows he's gonna get a treat for going to the bathroom. Um, Max, come here. I'll give him a treat real quick. Because he deserves it. So, I don't know if you guys can see him. He's right here. Ta -da. No, you can't. Let me spin this up a little bit so you can see him. Wait, Max, come back. I have more. Here we go. Uh, there's his treat. You can sit. He's a good boy. Yeah, and shake. So there you go. 
I'm going to. Oh, you can watch him while I wash my hands. <laughs> And I think that um, I mentioned this before, but just in case nobody else knows what's going on with that, I am watching him as part of a, program, a site, Rover. I don't know if anybody's heard of that. I think it's a, a US-based um, company, but I work through them and I watch dogs like on the weekends and stuff I kind of board them when their owners are out of town just to earn a little bit of extra money um, which is really good if you need a little side gig and then they're really super cute most of the time so and Max is an exceptional example of that because he is the most well-behaved dog I've ever seen uh, he used to be a therapy dog uh, he's retired now he's 13 so yeah but Anyways, he's just so, so cute and so well behaved. So, um, got lucky with this one. And, I mean, who doesn't love dogs? So, hey, if you need some extra money, that's a good, good side gig. Just in, but yeah, as I was saying, so one of the reasons that I'm doing this is because, um, because I am an introvert, I don't converse a lot with people. Even when I'm around people, it's not that I don't, enjoy being around people. I do. I love it. Um, not a lot of the time, don't get me wrong, but, um, but I love learning about people. I love hearing people's stories and what they're up to and things like that. Um, but personally, because I'm an introvert, I'm in my head a lot, so I don't talk a lot and I don't converse a lot. So something like this is something pushing me outside of my comfort zone and it's sort of making me grow in that area so even though it's not something that I'm you know it's kind of terrifying and uncomfortable I'm just trying it out um, so that's one of the like main reasons why I'm doing it I suppose um, I also have a YouTube channel so it's a good source of content for that channel and to be perfectly honest I am in a mastermind group which is called Beauty and the Vlog Boot Camp, and it's run by um, Erica Vieira, which she actually has a podcast called Beauty and the Vlog, and it's a it's a really awesome podcast if you're into uh, YouTube or if you have a channel. And I know it's called Beauty and the Vlog, but she covers so much information that it's good for anybody, and she doesn't discriminate on just beauty channels or just um, lifestyle channels she's like really broadening her her um, outreach but anyways so this was one of the assignments for that group and um, so that's another reason why I'm doing it but I put myself in that group knowing that that would be an assi that would be um, a goal to reach so I kind of knew what was coming and so that was just another thing of me like pushing myself a little bit and I feel like um, I heard a quote, which actually comes from the movie, um, what, what's that movie? The recent one that came out, um, The Greatest Showman, and I haven't seen that movie, but I've seen the quote going around that says, um, comfort is the enemy of progress, and that's kind of a great way to sum up why I'm doing it, because, um, People who fall into their comfort zones, you know, they don't move beyond that. They kind of stay where they are at and they don't progress, which is totally fine. And it's, everybody can get there and everybody does at some point, you know, goes through periods of like pushing and then comfort and then pushing and then comfort. I mean, that's normal and that's exactly, I think, how it should be. And, you know, once you reach that point of being comfortable and like being where you want to be, then you know, then you don't need to progress, and that's awesome for you. Um, and but for me personally, I am just in a place where, you know, it's not in any way mean that I'm unhappy. It's more that I'm just not fulfilled, or I feel like there's more, or there's something else I want to learn, or there's something else I want to do, and so that's when I know it's time to push myself outside of that comfort zone. So. 
um, yeah, so that's part of like the reasoning behind it. Um, so this is all, I think, mixed up pretty good. By the way, this, where is it, the Buffy flower? It looks like cement. I don't know if you can see that. I was like, that looks exactly like cement. Am I going to, and then even this looks like it's going to be a road somewhere. Don't you think? I don't know. But I'm hoping they taste good. It smells good. It smells really good. So we'll see. So I think it's time to flour the surface and then we're gonna roll out our dough and make our cookies. So it looks like the stream is still working. I don't know what happened with the last one. It's definitely like a connection thing. So I'm thinking that it was the Wi-Fi and I did change the bit rate on um, the stream, which just means that it's lower quality. So maybe that's helping it a lot, I hope so. Um, but I used a lot of coconut oil here. I got it everywhere. Um, and again, I don't know if I said this before, but I am a way better baker than I am a uh, cook. And part of the reason for that is because I'm a terrible multitasker. And that's another thing going outside my comfort zone. Maybe I shouldn't have done two in one day. But um, trying to do two things at once is not my... Uh, <gasps> Yay, my connection's better. Thank you, Desiree. Um, yeah, I was just really worried. I was like, what's going on? But yeah, so hopefully I can multitask this for the rest of the channel. But basically, all I have left to do now is roll out the dough cut the circles and I didn't have hearts like she has cute little hearts on hers but um, I didn't have that so I have a star and then like a little flower so which one do you guys think I should do um, also let me know um, yourself if there if you're doing anything that's challenging you something that's um, pushing you beyond your comfort zone. I'm curious to know because I I genuinely want to know what other people are up to and just to get ideas for things that I might want to do. Um, that's kind of the reason why I really love um, YouTube. It's, and I'm sure everybody who knows YouTube and watches YouTube is, feels the same way because as humans we're all very curious. Um, but, you know, you just it's not really about comparison or making yourself feel like your life isn't as good as their life it's more just seeing what people are up to and like learning about them and finding you know connections with people and um and trying out things and learning new things that you can try out there's so many things that i've learned since i started watching youtube that i didn't even know existed so that's one of the things i love oh yeah i guess i could do both the um, star in the flower. Desiree said that. Why don't you just do both? That, that's a good idea. I probably, I didn't even think I could do that. But yeah, I totally should do that. So Desiree also said that for me, it's going live today. Yeah, that's true. She's also going live later today. You should check it out. Um, her name is Desiree Nozomi on YouTube. Is the, did I pronounce that right? Probably not, but it's N-O-Z-O-M-I. So yeah, I should definitely check her out. I think she's going on, um, I'm sorry, what time did you say? It was like five o'clock central time? Is that right? I don't know. But um, yes, I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use the coconut flour to flour my surface just to add a little bit of sweetness to the cookies. So I'm using mostly, um, you know, I'm trying to get farther, closer and closer to more of a plant-based diet just for my personal health needs because um, I've been having like difficulty with that with, and every time I go to the doctor they cut out something new. I don't know if I mentioned that in this one or the last one. So this is what's so confusing <laughs> because I don't know what I've already said and what I haven't said. Um, but yeah, I don't know how this dough is going to work. I wish I could show you. Maybe I will. I'll try to like zero, zero it down some. Maybe it's out of the way. And show you like, look at that. It's like grainy and not very sticky. So I don't know, I don't know how this is gonna roll out, but you know, this could just be a day of failures. That's okay. It's all growing pains 
a work in progress. I think we're all in that somewhere in our life, right? <laughs> so, oh, 7 p.m. she says, Central Time. So if you wanna go check out Desiree, you should. 7 p.m. She has her own channel. Go check her out. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm just struggling to push myself a little bit and grow and learn. Um, but yes, what do you guys have in your sort of kitchen toolboxes that makes your life a little bit easier? For me, it's the Ninja, which I've already showed you, but I mean, it makes everything easier because it's super quick. I mean, I, I grind up everything in just a couple of minutes and um, yeah. I'm trying to remember all of the stuff that I mentioned in the last 30 minutes that I talked to myself, but I can't seem to think of it because I was just like rattling on and on and on. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Basically, oh, that was one thing I did wrong. I totally messed up the jam. I mean, I didn't mess it up. It wasn't a total failure, but I mixed it all in the wrong order and that is why I don't cook. <laughs> So I was basically saying, never mind, don't do it the way I did it. Do it your own way. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. I don't know, this isn't really rolling out the best way, guys. It's like very not sticking together, which I feel like is kind of ideal for a cookie. Um, I might need to add some more wet ingredient to it. I don't know. I'll try the first, I'll try it. I'll try to do the first round of cookies with this and see how it goes. So, where is everybody else from? I am from Orlando, Florida, which I mentioned in the last one, but that was kind of my excuse for having such frizzy hair today because I live in a humid environment, <laughs> um, which, you know, you go outside and you're like, but other than that, I mean, Florida is pretty all right. You know, it's got pretty good weather and um, the beach on every side, you know. And it has a lot of nature walks, surprisingly. You know, that was one of the things that I struggled with a lot when I was younger, because I was super, super active and I loved being outside. One of my favorite things is nature, so, and there were not a lot of nature parks and nature walks and things like that growing up but there's been a huge boom in that lately so I'm really excited about that because they've already opened up like four new parks that actually have walkways through the woods and stuff which I know can be dangerous if like I'm by myself and um you know you gotta be safe but I just love it I love going out and seeing the nature so so yeah Okay, uh, I don't know, it's, I don't know if it's like thin enough. It says to roll it out, um, to 55 millimeters, which, so that's probably like a half an inch maybe. She's a, the YouTuber is, <clears throat> she's British, so a lot of her, like, wording is, and usage of measurements and things are what the, what's typical over in Europe, so I think that's right, though. Yay, Minnesota! It's snowing! Desiree's in Minnesota right now, and she says, I don't know why I chose to live here at these times. That's so true. I actually have family in Minnesota, um, and my boyfriend does too, so we love Minnesota. We're both Twins fans, and yeah, so it's a really, really cool state. I mean, they have, uh, speaking of nature, speaking of nature, I mean, gosh, they have like the most beautiful places there. Um, we went camping up in North Shore, which is almost like, it's like way north Michigan, uh, Michigan, Minnesota. Um, and it was so much fun and we went rock climbing and 
gosh, they just have so much. And I was like blown away when I went there. They had everywhere you went, it was like something to do with active outdoor nature stuff. So, which surprised me because, you know, it's snowing there all the time. So I thought, oh gosh, they're not gonna have anything fun to do. But that, I mean, that place has it going on. I mean, as far as active stuff. And they also are super pet friendly, which I noticed, which again here, for the longest time, and even kind of still, it's not super pet friendly here. I mean, there's areas you can go, like Winter Park and um, Baldwin Park that have, like, they're more catered to, our, to animals, but here really, I mean, there's not a whole lot you could do with pets, so that's disappointing. Okay, let me show you what I have so far. This is kind of where I'm at. It's it's nice and flat and it did stick together after rolling it for a while so you know we'll see how it goes it's supposed to maybe I should start the oven is this three oops okay so another thing is my oven is broken so it cooks at a very low temperature so I always have to like bump it up um, okay, I'm ready to cut. And I'm gonna do both stars and flowers. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully this will stay together enough for me to be able to do that. So, let's see. What is everyone else's kind of preferred method for, like, cooking? <laughs> do you prefer to cook or bake or get hello fresh or take out or do you prefer to microwave everything um, I think if I had to choose I would prefer I would really love it if there were like more healthy delivery options not like hello fresh but I mean like you know like you know you could order pizza See, that's another thing <laughs> in Orlando. I keep saying, I'm like downing Orlando, but I mean, it's a really awesome place. But um, we just don't have a lot of that, like delivery options here. So there's literally only pizza and Chinese that you can get delivered to your house. So it would just be nice to have something healthy. You could just, I know Panera is starting to, like Panera Bread is a chain that's relatively healthy and they're starting to deliver but they still don't deliver to our area so so let's see Desiree says oh that's cool I've never been in the northern part of Minnesota but from pictures I've seen it's really beautiful it is so beautiful there um, it was my favorite place I mean if I I mean obviously living there would probably be horrible and I did go in the summertime but um, but yeah, it was, it was amazing. So you're close, you should go. You're closer than me anyway. And we drove up there. I mean, I'm trying to remember what city we started in. I wanna say it was Egan, Egan, Minnesota. Um, and my boyfriend's family's from Mayer, which is a really, really small, small city there. So, you know. Um, humble, humble places, just farms, you know, this is not working guys. <laughs> this is like not sticking together at all. I don't know what to do. Mm. It's just very brittle and breaking apart. It's like there's not enough wetness, but I do have my parchment paper, so we're gonna try a batch and see how it goes. Um, maybe I should get a, um, what are these things called? Somebody remind me. A spatula, no, not a spatula. Is that what they're called, spatulas? Because if that's a spatula, then what is this? <laughs> I don't know. So you can tell, I'm, I'm not like much for kitchen stuff but um so yeah this is what this is what I'm dealing with here it's like breaking apart already um oh there's just like a hole 
<laughs> triangle. <laughs> uh, sometimes you have to laugh at your day, you know, like how it's going. But I have faith in these cookies. Even though they don't look good, they're going to taste good. That's, that's what I think. So there's three. I think the smaller, the um, the flower one works better just because it doesn't go all the way to the side so it sticks better. Oh, there goes my oven. Sorry guys. So how's everyone else's day going so far? I wonder if, I mean, I'm trying to think if it's, like here it's beautiful. I don't, I don't know. It's been so nice. Um, but I know that there's some storms up north, like in Canada and probably Minnesota too. Yeah, go ahead, Desiree. Thank you for stopping by. I will definitely come check out your channel a little bit later. Um, but thank you. Have a good day. See you later. All right, so I'm just gonna keep on moving this stuff around. Two, three, four, five, six. I only have. All right. Um, I had something else that I remember talking about before and that's the problem is that I kind of like went through all of my talking points already so I can't remember what I was going to talk about and haven't already said so I think I need to cut more of these flowers. Kind of hoping to do the dog treats for um, little Max over there, but you know he's actually never eaten people food. He's trained, you know, not to have people food, so it's the weirdest thing. But every time we start eating, either you know, like lunch or dinner or something, he doesn't even care. He just like most dogs will run up or like smell or go into the kitchen when you're cooking or things like that. He's like whatever, just goes off into his own little corner perfectly content, you know, never asks for any food. It's the strangest thing because, I mean, I've grown up around dogs my whole life and never have I ever seen a dog not be interested when somebody's cooking or bringing home food or eating in front of them. But, you know, that's a testament to training, I'm for sure. Because apparently, if you're consistent and um, train well, you don't have that issue, I guess. But three, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I just need two more and then we'll be ready to bake. Yay! All right, so I'm hoping that the stream is still going okay. It looks like it is. It looks like. The chat's going well and everything's going well. So hopefully the bitrate was the issue and this won't interrupt any previous or streams in the future. And that way I will have far more things to talk about and keep on track and everything else. So that would be my plan. And I'm hoping these turn out pretty good. All right, so that's it. Now I'm just gonna put it into the oven for 10 to 12 minutes and then put them together. So let's get these in. going to um, get my wondering and that smells so good the strawberry jam and I'm wondering if I should put it into a container and put it in to the refrigerator to kind of cool it um, down before I get these out so maybe I'll do that um, but yeah so these are pretty good and she says, 
I'm going to read you what she said in her book so that you know why she chose Jammy Dodgers. But this actually won out on the voting, so you probably already know what it is. Um, I did a vote online in case I didn't mention it before, but there was a vote and there were four options. And this is the one that went out for me to bake today for the live stream. So um, that's why we chose this one for today. Uh, the other one was a dog treat and there was a strawberry ginger snap um, chocolate thing and sorry I'm just fixing that because it's really really crooked and it's bothering me um there was a the, the chalk treat and this one and the ginger snap marshmallow chocolate cookie and then a strawberry rice krispie treat which i've never heard of before i didn't even know you could do that um but that was kind of interesting um, curious to see how that one goes maybe I'll do that one another day but I wanted to pick something kind of easy because I haven't baked in a really long time so hopefully you know this will this will be good and I'm hoping to bake more often so let me know either now or in the comments later um, what you love what what you love to bake so that I can get some good ideas of things that you know are tried and true uh, if there's any like specific recipe that you use or you, you like whether it's baking or cooking um yeah just let me know like i said i'm a very curious person so um the more you share the better for me um lisa soup lady <laughs> that's funny all right so let me go ahead and clean up and then hopefully this we'll have some time to actually see how the cookies turn out and maybe taste them um, before we have to go, we'll see. I know because um, the stream is only supposed to be 30 minutes long, and <laughs> it was 30 minutes long, and I had not planned on doing much more than that for today just because I had a lot of other things I have to do. But um, we had some te technical difficulties in the beginning, and I ended up talking to myself for about 15 of those 30 minutes because the stream dropped, and I had no idea. So I came back on just to try and um, to see if it's still working. And this is my first, well now technically my second, because it's my second, I started it over uh, live stream, but my first one uh, ever. So bear with me on that technicality. Um, hopefully in the future I will be way better at this. Um, but it's all just growing beans and learning and, you know, adjusting and fixing and Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's the plan. Um, I've got some lemonade there. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up all of this stuff and try to clean up. And I probably do need to take Max on his walk soon because um, he has been pent up inside, <laughs> probably rolling his eyes at me for going on and on and on. So, I'm going to put this in here. Let me get a spoon. Here it is. So how's everybody else doing so far? Everybody enjoying themselves today? Have you guys ever done a live stream? And have you ever totally, completely failed at something? Because <laughs> that's how this day is turning out. It's like complete fail. I mean, there's worse things that can happen. Um, and I'm kind of happy that I figured it out and kept it going. So, you know, you got to take the little, the little, um, successes and be proud of those, I guess. So. so I'm currently streaming both on Twitch and on YouTube. So, Trying to make sure that I can see both um, for chat, and I think I can. So, yeah, <laughs> my mom was funny. She called me back as soon as the stream dropped the first time, and she was apparently she was watching. I had no idea, but um, and she said, um, I I turned on your video and it said 12 minutes and it was counting down. And I said, oh, that means you came in 12 minutes into the stream. And she was completely flabbergasted by that. 
Um, she had no idea. She's like, how did it start at 12 minutes? So cute. Um, yeah, so I know my aunt was watching too, and she's from Arkansas. She's coming to visit me very soon. Um, and in just a couple of weeks. So we we're planning on going to St. Augustine for, you know, just to, to look around. Has anybody been to St. Augustine before? Um, I've been a few times, so I kind of have an idea of what to do there, but I could use some help and suggestions on great places to go because I think my idea of what's really fun and interesting isn't like what everybody else would think. So I do want to show her a good time. So. You know, if anybody has ever been there before or knows somebody that has and can let me know any good places to go, ideas, please let me know. And I think we're done with the book now. She's so cute. I don't know if you've ever seen her channel, Naomi Smart, but if you haven't and you enjoy this kind of stuff like baking and doing um, lifestyle, she does lifestyle fashion, um, not really beauty, but more like health and fitness kind of stuff but she's so cute and I love her so much so you know this is not a this isn't like sponsored or anything she has no idea I even exist which I've said but um she's great so I recommend her channel for anybody else who's into that kind of thing um do you guys have any recommendations of good channels to watch for me um I don't really watch that much um YouTube. I mean, not YouTube, but um, Twitch. I watch mostly YouTube. So if you are on Twitch and you know of channels that aren't like totally just gaming or just, um, I don't know what other channels have I seen on Twitch. Pretty much gaming. So if you know any like really cool channels that aren't uh, solely gaming related, just let me know because I'm interested in getting more involved with twi with Twitch. Um, so I know they have like tons and tons and tons of categories, but I don't know. I haven't really found one that I connect with. So let me get this last bit. So yes, my vote for this recipe or my suggestion, I guess, would be add a little bit extra wet ingredients to this because it is very very like flaky um, and I did everything like it said to so I don't know but it smells it smells really good so that's a bonus that's a good sign I'm sure it'll taste very good it's just I feel like it could use a lot a little bit more Uh, what is it called when you connect things? I can't think of the word. But it's funny because I said that the main ingredient looked like cement and I thought it was going to turn into like this rock solid thing, but turns out I was wrong. Okay, there's about two more minutes left on the cooking, so I think as soon as I'm done here, we should be able to um pull them out and give them a look. Hopefully they're not destroyed. Maybe I can just peek in really quick and see. Um, yeah, they're looking good. They look good, so. I might take them out a little early. I had to bump up the temperature, so I gotta keep an eye on it because it's not the typical temperature that you would cook it at my oven's broken but um okay so I think I really like the ingredients that this thing used but um I don't know about the consistency so that could just be baker's error <laughs> I mean I feel like I used the right amounts and everything it was um British so their measurements are a little bit different so maybe that's part of it Maybe that's why, but um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it tastes. I'm really looking forward to going on a walk later because I've been scooped up inside, and I, like I said, I like nature and I like being outside. And I like being active, so 
I'm excited now to have a little doggy to take with me on my walks. So, because normally I go by myself and I just listen to podcasts. Does anybody have good podcast recommendations? I love podcasts. I'm really into those right now. Um, I would love to start my own podcast, but I would have no idea what to talk about. That's the only problem. That's my issue is finding like the thing to go forward with. I struggle with that a lot is that I have like a lot of like hard work that work ethic check, um, passion, not well, I mean passion is probably the bad, not the best word for it because that's kind of what I'm lacking is like the passion, but I have the drive and I have like the desire to really tackle something and be great at it. It's just, I haven't found that thing that fuels me or makes me want to, you know, go for it, I guess. So that's part of this and just challenging yourself and pushing yourself outside of your comfort zones to find those things that eventually will like trigger and connect with you. And I'm hoping <laughs> I say that, but I really don't know, but I'm trying it out and seeing if it works for me. So yay. There it is. Handy little glove. Oh. So, let's see how it goes. Oh, he came out to see me and then he heard the noise and went back in. That was Max, the dog. Oh, they look good. All right, so this is how they turn out. I only did one of these star because the star kind of exploded, but um, the others look good. Making sure they're not too hard. Okay, well, I think I'm going to let them um, cool down. I'm going to put them on a cooling rack. That's why I looked down. Um, and let's see. How can I? Ooh. Yeah, I think they're going to be good. they're like they're pretty healthy so I mean the ingredients are it's all gluten-free and it's all raw ingredients pretty much um, it's all plant-based if you're into that if you're not that's okay um, Hopefully you guys can hear me okay when I'm talking because I've been talking for like 30 minutes already well before I started this and it's already been 48 minutes and I've been talking that whole time and let me remind you that I don't ever talk <laughs> I'm very quiet everybody who knows me will say oh yeah she's very quiet um, and that's part of the reason why I'm doing this is to get me more comfortable just like talking and um, getting used to just on the spot conversating and things like that because being an introvert um, if anybody is out there that's watching this knows inside my head a lot and when other people are around and talking I'm far more comfortable with them just taking the lead talking telling me everything they can about themselves I'm okay with that because I love learning about people and um, you know, I, I, I'll ask questions of people, but um, I'm not usually the main talker in a conversation, should I say. So <laughs> the more I talk, the like quieter I get because my voice actually starts to go and I can already tell like it's already starting to go. So, um, so yeah, if it is harder for you to hear me and this stream is a lot more low key because I like stripped all my energy in the first one. <laughs> So I'm sorry about that. I know a lot of you are probably like, oh, I don't know, she doesn't seem too into this one. And it's not that I'm not, I, I, you know, this is a trial for me, so I'm just chatting and trying, but, um, but yeah, just, just to be honest, like this is probably the most I've talked 
history. Uh, not ever, maybe even ever, probably since, I don't know, speech class in college or something, um, where it was, I would, you know, by the way, I would have like anxiety attacks over. Um, so for me to do this is crazy, but I'm um, really enjoying it and I've really enjoyed spending time with you guys and trying it out and pushing myself and being uncomfortable. Definitely, definitely been uncomfortable. <laughs> and I'm sorry if that came through to you guys and made you uncomfortable too, but um, I really am trying to grow and I hope to do more of these and just get better and better at it. So that's my plan. And thank you for being here and supporting me. Um, this cookie is a total fail. It's completely um, broken, but <laughs> that's kind of how this whole stream thing has gone so far. So it's okay. It's just like a souvenir of of what it's uh, of the representation of it. So that's okay. Um, so yeah, I think they're ready to jam. So that's what we're gonna do. Jam it. Let me get the let's make it the spoon. So we're gonna just put a little bit of jam on the cookie. And I used strawberries for this jam, but obviously you can use whatever whatever is your jam. As they say, what's your jam? Um, but I do recommend strawberry because I mean it's the best. What are you, what are you doing? Strawberry is the best. So there you go. We got one! Yay! There's one. Oh, hi, Max. Max is here. Are you saying hi? Look down. Are you looking for for scraps or what? What are you looking for? I don't have anything. Like I'm wearing my I need my space shirt. I love this shirt. He's in here. He's in the kitchen. He's looking for him outside. He thought he was outside. Okay, I think it's ready to try. Hopefully, it doesn't explode on me. So let's see how it tastes after all this crazy stream trouble and cookie trouble and craziness that I've completely destroyed the um, I, the jam. I did it all wrong, which you would see. Um, so let's see how it tastes. That's good. I'm happy with that. Way better than I thought it was going to be as far as like the consistency of the cookie. I thought it was going to be too crunchy, but it's actually soft in the middle. Of course, it's so warm, so that's part of it. But um, but yeah, I think it tastes really, really good. Anyway, for those of you who are still here, still... Um, with me. I really appreciate you supporting me and staying this long and working with me through all of the kinks. Um, but I'm just happy that I finally got it working because it looks like it's st staying on um, through the whole stream. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. Um, and yeah, so I hope that you learned something or had some kind of interest or some, you got something out of it. I hope so. But um, if not, I'm sorry. And better luck for me next time. And hopefully I'll get better and better at this. And yeah. So I'm going to sign off now. Hopefully I'll be able to get through all the other things I have to do today. Um, but yes, I definitely appreciate your help. Please check out my YouTube channel if you haven't already. You're probably already on there. Um, but if you're on Twitch, I do have my YouTube channels. Lisa Charlotte. And I post mostly lifestyle, leisure, and adventure. Uh, stuff so um, travel vlogs and just lifestyle stuff um so yeah thank you again for watching and i will talk to you again another time bye